Hi! Welcome to Far Cry 4, we're looking at the quickest way to get the holster. Now, uh, this may seem a bit backward, but the first thing you want to do is buy the recurve bow. Because the first mission you're going to want to do after the prologue is wolf's den for a meter. And having the uh, recurve bow over the hunting bow is just going to make life a little bit easier. Having a sight on it and a little more damage uh, means you're going to be able to one-shot kill the wolves even if you get them in the body. So, uh, pick up the reflex, uh, sorry, the marksman sight too if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, don't worry too much. Grab a gun and just head south of Banapur. And chuck down bait and kill whatever comes. Um, and just return to Banapur to refill on ammo. It's pretty quick work. Uh, you can make, you know, 50, 100 grand quite quickly. Then head over here to pick up Wolves Den, or the Wolves Den from a meter. This will send you up to see uh, Kanan, this crazy old woman. Uh, she's got a supply of ammo and healing packs and loads of other cool stuff underneath here. You're going to need to smash your way into it. Uh, don't forget to head up to the waypoint uh, after you've tagged the wolves. Yeah, like this, although I didn't really see any. Jump off the side here. There's a chest, uh, which usually has about five or six grand in it. I think I saw 12 in it one time. And a silver bracelet that'll get you, I think, six or seven when you sell it as well. So that's a great chest. It's usually got some good riches. Um, if you've got the marksman bow on and you're at a good distance, you want to aim just between the uh, 0 and 50 meters mark, as you saw there. And you should be able to get three wolf skins very, very easily off this mission. Some pigs might spawn after you finish it too. Definitely grab one of them um, with the bow. They're easy to kill, they won't attack you, and you'll be able to upgrade the quiver. Now for the next set of purchases, you want to head towards the first set of maps, starting with the South Kairat loot map. It's 80 grand, which seems like a big investment. You want to head for items next. There you go. Um, but look at all the, tre the chests on the map now. There's also a Mohan Gale journal in Banapur that you want to grab for 500 experience and pick up the harvester skill. That's going to let you grab two leaves off plants at a time, uh, which you can sell for two and a half thousand each. So every plant you meet is basically 5,000 cash, almost better than a chest. Um, on your way to do Sabal's mission, that's the one you're going to want to do next, the radio tower. Uh, plan your route via the chest map that you've just bought. There's a sixer on the way to use as a sidearm if you haven't got one yet, because you'll have unlocked that first holster slot, which is the sidearm. But make your way along here. I also like to tag the chests on the radio towers to see where they are, so do that if you want. After unlocking the radio tower, you're going to find tapirs on the map. Um, so head towards those. There's also a lake nearby with loads of blue plants, so stock up on those. Um, it's a really good place to get them early so that you've got plenty of hunting syringes. You should have passed a bunch of red plants on the way, so definitely farm them too. Uh, they're your hunting syringe staple, and I go for gatherer, then hunting syringe, then the health um, as the first three skills. After that, I can look to take down. There's some Assam macaques you'll probably run along. Don't be afraid to grab them. Uh, they'll give you the wallet upgrade after I think the Baral or the Sambar, which you should have seen plenty of. If not, I'll link to that at the end. Um, but then uh, take another hunting syringe and just run around the circle where the tapir are at a distance of about 20 or 30 meters. You'll see here, I went one way, didn't see any, came back, went the other way, and sure enough, just up over the crest of this hill, there are the tapir. Now they look like pigs with snouts. Uh, you want to be using the bow again here, they're not going to attack you. The worst case is they're going to run away, so actually you can get pretty close. I got pretty lucky there with a long shot um, while it was running. But you only need to kill two of them with the bow to get enough skins to upgrade your holster again. Uh, I'd killed them all here and then just came back and literally ran the other way from the marker again. And there they are over that side by the river. So you're really not going to struggle to find tapirs around here. Last up is honey badgers. For those you want to head just southwest of the tapirs, you see I've gone along the road about halfway back to Banapur. Um, just to the northeast of the marker on the map for um, Baral, for the goats. And by this road, uh, I actually saw this first one getting run over by a car. But they're almost always around here. Chuck some bait and you'll hear that familiar, hateful, terrifying sound. And I got lucky with the bow here. It's actually pretty risky to use bows to hunt honey badgers, unless you're getting headshots. Two shots there, killed it. Two in the head, you can see there. Um, but as you probably know, honey badgers have a lot of health um, and hit really hard. So if you have a gun, um, not an explosive gun and not a flamethrower, I actually strongly recommend using that 
it's going to be safer. Something with a big magazine that you can just keep pumping bullets into the thing. Uh, I got lucky there because it didn't eat my face. But there's if they if you let them get started, you'll see here. I decided to go for another bow kill to demonstrate how to do it badly. I think I even missed with that one. But this guy is now super angry and he's just going to come and claw my face off. You can sometimes sidestep them like that, other times you can't. And they're going to take your health down really quickly. You can see here, almost dead. And once you start missing, at least once I start missing, I start to panic and shoot in all the wrong directions and it oof, just turns into a horrible mess. Anyway, now you've got your holster upgrades. Um, so you needed for that wolves, tapir and honey badgers. You should focus on buying the rest of the maps for South Karat. All the undiscovered locations will give you karma and experience. All the propaganda posters are going to give you experience uh, and karma. The Manny Bells, loads of karma. Uh, and the Mohan Gale journals, loads of experience. And then of course all the chests as well. So buying these maps is a fantastic source for leveling up and getting cash really, really quickly and definitely something you should invest in early. They'll pay themselves back in no time. Uh, on the left is Blackwater Dragon. He is the first of the rare hunting um, animals which you do, so you'll want to maybe check that out. He's in the Kyra T Way Station outpost, I think, just to the southeast of Banapur. And on the right, Baral, in case you didn't find them. Uh, the easiest place to find them. The map on the location, the marker on the map next to the honey badgers isn't always that useful. They don't often spawn there. Anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.